Angels, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot. Welcome, Cider Angels, and back to the channel. And thank you very much for your likes and shares. And welcome to those that have just landed on the channel. I hope you will enjoy the reading. And remember, if you are new, there's also the yearly readings. Have a look at those, and there's also an update, a uh, seven month update, which I made in June. So go and have a look uh, whether any of the readings uh, re um, resonate with you. You're more than more than welcome on this channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all. Then you'll be notified when I go live. As I go live on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by the donation, the super chat or super sticker. So let's get started with your reading Aquarius. On Monday the 20th you have the Eight of Cups. You are wanting to go, you're wanting to leave, you want adventure, you want something new, you're bored. You want adventure and excitement. Well just remember, just a tip, this is what I'm hearing, the, green, the grass is not always greener on the other side. If you can see whether you uh, really, if it's realistic to go and start something new, don't throw an old pair of shoes away though before you have something new. That is on Monday. On Wednesday, you have the Five of Cups. You can see there's still two standing. Don't look at what you don't have look at what you do have and be grateful. Don't look back at the past. You can't cry over spilled milk. It's gone. It's milk is spilled. Okay, so perhaps you don't have any excitement anymore or you don't have any more adventure. Ask yourself why. Do you need somebody else to have excitement and adventure? You can definitely pick up these two cups and carry on on the path that you are now and you can change you can change your life or your your issue or that isn't exciting anymore or isn't making you happy. You can change the present and you can ch ch uh, change the future. So take the two cups and multiply them. Then you have it again, but perhaps different. Nothing ever stays the same. Remember, if you're bored with the way your life is now, you might be in a good job, right? You might be in a good job. Let's take the job front. You might be in a very good job, but there's still ways to get a promotion. Then go in, in search of what you have to do to get this promotion so the excitement and the challenge will come back into your life and it will become the three and the four and the five of cups again. So look at what you have and how you can build on what you have. Twig it, change it, okay? You are in your own power to change things in the present and the future. You can't change what's happened in the past. Now, if it's with regards to a relationship, is it wise to leave a trustworthy uh, relationship when there is no fighting going on? If there is fighting going on and it's misery, then yes. But I'm not allowed to decide for you, which is correct because you know your situation. So think twice before you um, take off. Find a new pair of shoes before you take off. I'm not saying uh, in uh, go and uh, be unfaithful to your partner. No way. But think it through. Take the st steps necessary to twig it, to bring back the passion, to bring back the love, to bring back the excitement. Take a weekend away or a midweek if you can't go on holiday. That might bring in the excitement again. Okay, never leave a partner um, for uh, because you want excitement or um, what you might call it, adventure. 
you should do that together. That is why you are in a partnership. Don't think because Jack or Jill uh, are happy with their partner or their situation. Yeah, no. Uh, every relationship, everything in life, it has its ups and downs. Okay. Now, if you are alone, yes, then I can understand you want to have adventure and excitement, but uh, but with somebody else. But you can tweak that, okay? You can tweak that. You've learned from the past. So don't look for the same type of person <laughs> because it didn't work in the past. So why should it work now? Okay? So change, do a 360 degrees turnaround. Go out there, make yourself up, get yourself, take care of yourself, start beaming again. That is part of the uh, change and don't go to the same places as you did in the past go and do something new instead of playing tennis every week go to the swimming club or go to the athlete athletes club do something different that is what I mean by 360 degrees turn around go and meet different people and you will attract a different kind of partner or friend if you if you want a friend. On um, Friday we have the Nine of Pentacles. Well, <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles means to me that a wish has come true. Who doesn't wish they want more money? You've most probably tweaked it and decided to take these two cups and make them three, four and five. You are most probably getting your wish fulfillment. Now you have the money all the means to make your life more exciting by going out and enjoying yourself or buy those books that you want to buy. Perhaps you um, have tweaked another way of buying books um, like uh, you might not have the money to buy new books so go to the second hand store. That is what I mean by tweaking it and see whether you can find in any interesting books at the second hand store. A nine is also an ending. Where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Okay, Aquarius, just use your wisdom. Use your brain. Okay, there's always... Uh, my mother used to say, there's always a way to adjust the sleeve. Like when you're a knitter and you knit sleeves and they're too short, you can unpick the, 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 the knitting that you've sewn the sleeve in and uh, undo the sleeve and make it longer. Just learn to be um, adventurous, flexible and adjustable. But stay steady like the coins with both feet on the ground. Okay. At the end of the week, at the weekend, well, you might discover something or you might feel that somebody stabbed you in the back. Perhaps truth has come out um, and somebody's been gossiping about that and you are finding out that somebody stabbed you in the back. That is not really a true friend. So you have learned from the past. Walk away from these type of people and don't bother. Don't go into their drama. Don't, uh, um, don't answer to their provocations. Just walk away. If somebody stabs you in the back with gossip or slagging you behind your back, then they are not real friends. Then that could be the end of a friendship. Okay? But there is a new beginning. Like I said, twig it. Twig it. And you might join a club. If you play tennis every week, then join another club. Or join the swimming club or athletes club. Do something different to meet different people. There again, you will most probably meet lots of new friends and take your time and make sure they are true and loyal and honest to you. There is new beginnings. Again, an ending, new beginning, an ending, new beginning at the end of the week. I wonder what is going to happen at the end of the week. I, it will be different for everybody. For some it will be love prosperity, luxury, um, 
for other people it might be just a, a, a pay rise a new job something that is better paid and you feel more appreciated and that is excitement in itself an adventure a new beginning well what you want is going to come so be careful what you wish for then we have the child from the mystical sh shaman a mystical shaman oracle deck sorry I'm a mouthful you've got number seven so luck is on your side now what does a child mean to you just think on that well word a child could be a baby so there could be a birth you could be finding out that you're pregnant a child the child it could be one of your children that will uh, bring some excitement into your life in one way or another okay it might be a child that could be very hurtful to you so what are you going to do with that how are you going to manage that a child children um, and drunks <laughs> that's what the saying is this is what I'm hearing are telling you the truth they tell the truth well the truth is you might not see the excitement or the beauty or adventure in the uh, way you are living at the moment and the child just must give you m might just give you that wake-up call so there will be an end to uh, a fallacy an untruth fantasy okay the child can always brings clarity a child uh, also means uh, spontaneity let your inner child come out be more playful perhaps you are too serious and that's why you can't find the excitement and venture and adventure in your life anymore now I will go into the meaning of the child the child knows the way to joy and happiness the child offers the return of a second innocence a time born of wisdom and not of naive naivety this card allows you to con correct your course and offers you a second chance it brings you the possibility of redemption and entering heaven while on earth and that is heaven lovely what is your definition of abundance because that is really what the nine of pentacles means it could be money but it could be love it could be excitement in another way it could be passion it could be a child or pregnancy the child is here to release you from the habit of being yourself and to help you acquire a beginner's mind so that you can see life as if for the first time Remi remain open to learning and discovering who and discovering and I was talking about books this is how you widen your knowledge that could be exciting for some of you who is your spouse or partner today can you see them with a the fresh eyes who is looking back at you in the mirror this morning <laughs> become a mystery unto yourself and reconnect with a sense of childlike wonder wow that's what I was just saying to you absolutely magical and um, it won't happen overnight it will only happen within the next few months that's the angels answer when you are when you see who you really are and you can face yourself in the mirror and if you can say I love what I see or I like what I see you can improve to not I like but I love what I see and start working on yourself you can do this by taking time out for yourself in meditation in the morning in meditation or contemplation in the evening even if it's just Ten minutes, ten five minutes, sitting in silence and thinking, and then five minutes coming back to yourself. You can sit there with your closed eyes, meditating. Let your mind drift, and then see if there's any new ideas coming uh, above. And then you sit there for five minutes with your eyes open, 
and think about what you have thought or heard or seen whilst you had your eyes closed. If you do this for 21 days, you will see the change already within uh, weeks, not months. But don't force anything. Let the ideas come to you uh, when you are sitting quietly meditating. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, but let your inner child come out. Don't be too serious. A child always looks in a way at things and thinks, wow, I can play with this toy. That is exciting. I will get another toy. You could do that with the sewing machine. You can do that with reading books. You can do that with um, uh, having an other appro approach with computer games. Perhaps make a, a different character in your computer game. Thank you for coming into the reading and I hope you enjoyed it. Please share and like with family and friends. Take care, be blessed and stay safe. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.